before this video starts, I do just want to mention that I'm currently hosting a giveaway for Christmas. So I'm going to be giving away this skin you can see on the screen right now. This is a Wildcat bundle. I think it's like an $150 skin. I'm giving it away for completely free. All you have to do is go into the description of this video. There will be some very simple rules that you need to follow to enter. I'm pretty sure it's just liking the video, subscribing, joining my Discord server, and then there will be a link to my Twitter. You will have to actually head over to my Twitter and follow some more rules. And then simply once you've done all that, comment done on this video, and you then will be entered. Good luck, everyone. Yo, guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to set up your brand new 144 hertz or 240 hertz gaming monitor. Now, you know, Christmas is literally today. I'm recording this on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everyone. I do hope you all had an amazing day. Merry Christmas. Got everything you want. You guys are probably not watching this on Christmas, but I am, in fact, I'm indeed recording this on December the 25th. We're grinding out uploads. I weren't going to miss this day. I didn't want to end the upload streak. But the reason I'm making this video, you guys probably got new monitors for Christmas and you need to learn to set them up properly. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help you out with that. Now, if I go ahead to help in any way, shape, or form, you do enjoy this video, the least you can do for me is drop a like. I'm literally, bro, I'm uploading this on Christmas Day. I'm grinding out content. Just please cut me some slack. Drop a like. Literally takes two seconds. You can also go to extra mile, subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. Therefore, you never miss an upload just like this. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So getting straight into this, we are just going to jump straight into everything. And the first tip or the first thing you need to do to ensure you are actually getting the most out of your brand new gaming monitor, it is to make sure you have the correct cable. Now, yes, the correct cable. I know some new game monitors won't have SCART cables or SCART leads. I'll show you one of them is on the screen right now. Don't use this if you have it. I'm sure new monitors don't even support this cable. But yeah, you want to avoid this. Also, something you want to avoid is, believe it or not, HDMI cables. Yes, your traditional HDMI, you want to avoid it because they actually almost limit you to 60 hertz like you can't get any more than 60 hertz on a traditional hdmi now you can on a hdmi 2.0 so there's something called a hdmi 2.0 you need to make sure it's a 2.0 and those do allow you to go a little bit more than 60 hertz i'm pretty sure a lot of them either support 75 hertz and some will support up to like 120 144 but i don't think they support 240 so if it is a 240 you've got you can't even get a hdmi 2.0 and even if you do only have an 144 hertz i highly recommend instead forget the hdmis get a d DP cable. Now, DP is shorthand for display port. That's literally what it's called, a display port cable. I'm going to show a comparison on the screen right now. This is a HDMI cable. This is the HDMI 2.0. And this right here is a DP cable, a display port. Now, the reason a display port is so good, it's just because it's almost like a newer HDMI. It's the best cable you can use for your monitor. It will support up to 240 Hz. It will ensure you are getting your peak refresh rate at all times. And yeah, you're just not limiting yourself by the cable you have. And, and also, they're extremely cheap. So don't worry about price. They're like $3. I'm sure you can get some for like maybe $7, maybe even cheaper. Like I think the average price is probably like three to seven dollars. Maybe you can get these at your local store anywhere. Probably sells them. Literally go on Amazon, and I'm sure you can find a DP cable. Just make sure you have the best cable. And now the next thing you can do over my desktop here. These are some things you want to do in your system on Windows itself to ensure you are getting the most out of your new monitor. What you want to do is go down here to your little Windows search, type in display. Like so, you should see display settings. You want to click onto here. First thing you want to do is scroll down, and where you see scale and layout, ensure that this is set. Your scaling is set to 100%. It'll probably be the one that's recommended, even if any other are recommended try and use 100 it's the best for your system and it also will give you better performance in the long run for like games like fortnite it's just the best another thing i recommend you check is you make sure that your monitor so the monitor you have bought is set to its correct display resolution so i don't know if you've got a 1920 by 1080 monitor which i'm sure a lot of you will have just make sure it's set to 1920 by 1080 in here and then maybe if you have i don't know a 4k monitor i'm not sure the exact resolution for that just make sure it's also set to the corresponding resolution right here and another thing you can do in here is where it says advanced display settings open this out you you don't want to go to display adapter properties for display one you may have multiple displays so just click the display you have you don't want to click onto this here and then what you want to do is tab over to monitor and when you're here where it says monitor settings you want to ensure that your screen refresh rate is set to the highest one possible so whatever is basically the highest number in here because sometimes when you plug in a brand new monitor it could be 144 hertz but by default for whatever reason when you plug it in your system doesn't detect that and it has it set in here on windows to 60 hertz so you're just not getting your actual refresh rate or your peak refresh rate that you should be getting right so just go in here change to the highest you've probably ever got 144 240 just make sure you select it in here press apply press ok and now the next thing i recommend you will do is go over to your control panel so your gpu or display control panel now the way you can do this is if you're nvidia you should have an nvidia control panel so you just right click this should also work if you're amd it just won't say nvidia control panel it'll be called amd radeon settings i believe and if you're intel it should say something about i don't know intel control panel right here but in my case i'm nvidia so i can just right click press here or i can literally just search up nvidia control panel and it should come up in my 
search here. For me, it doesn't, but I've got it right here. So I'm going to open my control panel. Now, again, you AMD and Intel users out there, you can like mirror this over to whatever your control panel is. It really doesn't matter. Like this is a super simple tip you can do on any control panel. But what you want to do is if you're NVIDIA, go to change resolution right here. When you're here, it's a similar thing you just did in your Windows settings. You just want to ensure that you have the highest resolution selected or whatever your native resolution for your monitor is. So for me, it's 920 by 1080. Another thing you want to do is ensure you also have the correct refresh rate selected in here as well. So for me, it's 144 hertz. And then once you've done that, you want to go to adjust desktop size and position. Ensure that this is set to full screen. So your scaling is set to full screen here. And then also that you're performing scaling on your display. Now I can't do it with this monitor because unfortunately BenQ monitors do not have a display scaler. But on my Omen monitor here, which is a HP monitor, as you can see, I can perform scaling on display. Now this is the best for Fortnite. It will give you the least input lag and your game will just feel a whole lot better. You'll get exclusive full screen and overall it will just give you the best one to one response time. So yeah, I recommend you use display. I would also recommend you tick this box here, which says override the scaling mode set by games and programs. This just ensures that if a game is trying to force you onto GPU scaling, which Fortnite actually will try and do, it basically just stops that from happening and it will make your system force display scale. Now for some of you, if you do have a BenQ monitor or even just some of your monitors, they won't have display scaling. So right here, I'll only say GPU like this. That isn't an issue. It just means your monitor does not have a display scaler and you can just skip this step. And now there really isn't much more to talk about. Honestly, I'm staying in my control panel right here. You can uh, slightly change your settings or your color settings here. So I want to just desktop color settings. I would recommend that you actually go down. You don't change anything else. You just go down to your digital vibrance and change this to about 60 or 65. You can even go beyond that into your 70s. I honestly would not go past 75, but changing this just makes your monitor pop that little more. It makes the colors come out and almost just burst. I don't know. The colors just look a lot better. Honestly, Booga does this himself and it makes the game look so good. So honestly, I would recommend you tamper with this a little bit but at the end of the day you know it is actually subjective so it's all personal preference also the last thing i almost forgot about this what you can do is on your monitor setting so your monitor should actually have like buttons on it maybe you have a remote for your monitor there's like on board on your actual monitor itself you should have buttons right what i'll do is i'd recommend you go through them and you, you should have an option to like something called game mode now if you do have the options some monitors will have it i'll try and show a photo on the screen of what game mode is on your monitor settings but if you have this option just turn it on because it is really good and yeah with that being said that is all I have in today's video. I just wanted to make this to ensure that you guys who got new monitors for Christmas are all set and you do have no problems. You are getting the refresh rate you should be getting and your monitor is just working as well as it should be. If you enjoyed this video, it helped in any way. The least you can do for me is drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Hope everyone had an amazing Christmas. It's been your boy Fetch and yeah, peace.